Good morning, grade 10s. Today we will be discussing polygons. Now, polygons means figures that have multiple sides. We get two types of polygons. We get regular polygons and irregular polygons. Now, with regular polygons, all the sides and the interior angles are equal. For example, equilateral triangles, squares, pentagons, hexagons, and octagons. So these all have equal sides and equal interior angles. Irregular polygons do not have all sides equal or all sides can be equal but then the interior angles are not all equal. For example, the rhombus and the rectangle. For example, the rhombus. The rhombus have all sides equal, but not all the interior angles are equal. Remember, a rhombus is like a skewed square. And then the other one is a rectangle. With a rectangle, all the interior angles are 90 degrees, but all the sides are not equal. So these are examples of irregular polygons. Now we can calculate the sum of interior angles for polygons of a number of sides, regardless of the number of sides, using the following. It's 180 degrees times the number of sides we have minus 2. This is now to get the sum of interior angles. And the size of interior angles of a regular polygon can be calculated using the following formula. We have the sum of the interior angles, which is 180 degrees, multiplied with n minus 2, over the number of sides. But remember, these, this is only relevant to regular polygons. Let's look at a few regular polygons. The first is an equilateral triangle. All the sides in the triangle are equal and all the interior angles are equal. But this is what we can do. To calculate the sum of the interior angles, we say it's 180 degrees multiplied with the number of sides minus 2 and therefore this is 180 degrees multiply of 1. So the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. And the size of the interior angles, the 60, we can calculate by saying 180 degrees multiplied with the number of sides minus 2 over the number of sides, which is 3. So therefore the interior angles are 60 degrees. We can apply the same formulas in squares. Now a square, all four sides are equal, and all interior angles are right angles. So the sum of the interior angles are 180 degrees multiplied with the number of sides, which is 4 minus 2, and that is 360 degrees. And the size of the interior angle, because this is a regular polygon, is 180 degrees times the number of sides minus 2, over the number of sides, which is 90 degrees. We can apply the same in a pentagon. Now, a pentagon is all five sides are equal, and therefore all interior angles are also equal. But to find the sum of the interior angles, we say it's 180 degrees multiplied of the number of sides, which is 5 minus 2. So it's 180 degrees multiplied with 3, and that is 540. And the size of the interior angle is 180 degrees times 5 minus 2, the number of sides subtracting 2, over the number of sides. That is 108 degrees. We can continue working out the sum of interior angles and the size of interior angles for the hexagon and octagon using the same steps as before. How about irregular polygons? Now we have a figure with four sides. 
This looks like a trapezium because those two sides appear to be parallel. But the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees times 4, the number of sides, minus 2, which is 360 degrees. Therefore, x plus y plus s plus t is 360 degrees. We can do the same for a five-sided figure. The sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees times 5, that's the number of sides, minus 2. So the interior angles will add up to 540 degrees. So therefore, P, Q, R, S and T all together will be 540 degrees.